everyone. Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel. This is a long overdue review video, follow up to the one I had posted previously on the Walker Silencer Bluetooth uh, rechargeable earbuds. So I've used these for about eight months now and I finally feel like I'm somewhat intelligent about their operation and have enough experience to really talk honestly and truthfully about how they work and what, what I think about them over the course of the time that I've used them and I want to share those thoughts with you. So stay tuned. Hey, if you're new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell. You can also look me up on Twitter and Instagram to follow along as I post new stuff and new content and my adventures. Now with my channel and these product reviews, I really try to focus on being able to provide unbiased, honest reviews about the different stuff that I'm, that I'm talking about. These are typically, and in this case, products that I've purchased on my own, things that I thought were important for what I was doing, and I want to share those thoughts with you so you can make informed decisions. Now to start off, this is actually my second pair. The first pair I purchased early on, pre-order, so it was among some of the first sets of earbuds that went out to the public. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get it before duck season, big duck season last year, and I used them for several months, and then uh, just after the season ended, the left earbud, for some reason, stopped working. I don't know if it just wouldn't charge, but it wouldn't turn on. I sent them back to Walker's, they quickly sent me a replacement pair, and I've been using this these since. Now, hunting season was over, so primarily I've been using these for some other shotgun shooting and also pistol and rifle shooting. Now, getting a second set of these has been good and bad, actually. The first set did have some static noise in the background when I was just using them. This pair has virtually none, so that was great. However, the trade-off was the first set that I had paired very easily with uh, my phone via Bluetooth and also connected to the app quite easily. I never really had any issues. These, on the other hand, I've had a little bit of problem with, especially early on. That seems to have been resolved a bit. Maybe it's with recent updates to the app. I'm not sure what exactly, but every once in a while I still have some trouble getting the right earbud to connect properly and sync up with my phone and sometimes getting the app to sync up. Um, I'm not really sure what that, what's causing that. The other thing I notice is that it doesn't seem to retain any of the set, uh, the settings that I've saved. And that's with regards to the uh, standby mode, how long, how long before it shuts down, and also some of the volume settings. It seems like I have to adjust those um, most times when I start these back up. So I'm going to get to what I think about them while I'm using them during shooting in just a minute. But first I want to talk about a couple other things that you can do with them and my impressions of that. So the first one is using them as a Bluetooth headset for a phone. So on the Bluetooth version, which these are, you can connect to your phone and you can answer phone calls and talk using the earbuds. Now, I didn't find that particularly useful. Um, from what I experienced with these, the sound is only transmitted on the left earbud. The microphone that's picking up your voice is also on the left earbud only, not on the right one. And what I noticed with people that uh, when I was talking to them and trying to use them for that is that the microphone picks up a lot of background noise. So unless you're in a very, very quiet place, it's going to be extremely distracting for the other person on the other line. So that includes wind noise if you're driving or outside. It includes any kind of um, at, you know other people talking, any kind of background noise, music, anything like that is going to be overpowering to the sound of just your voice that's being transmitted back to the person that you're talking to. So not very practical for that sense. Now one other use that I did find them very nice for is for just playing music. So again, the Bluetooth version is connected to your phone. You can stream music from your phone to these directly, and that's worked great. So I've used those quite a bit at the gym. Fantastic. The audio quality, I think, is pretty good. I don't really have another set of high-quality uh, Bluetooth earbuds to compare them to, but, but they work great for me. And I think that does make them a little bit of a multi-purpose type device, which also helps to kind of justify the cost of them because they're not cheap. Okay, so now let's get to the part that you're probably most interested in, which is how they work for shooting. They work. They work great, actually. Um, I've used them for duck hunting all through last season, again, with the first pair of these. I've used them for shooting clays. They've lasted throughout uh, a sporting clays match. I've used them for shooting pistols. I've used them around rifles at the rifle range. Um, and in each case, you can dial the volume up to be able to hear people talking, and it sounds clearly or slightly amplified. And whenever there's the report of the gun, um, shotgun, pistol, or rifle, it effectively mutes that sound and does not uh, and prevents any discomfort in your ears. Now for duck hunting specifically, which is one of the main things that I was looking uh, to use these for, uh, it's pretty good. So using a duck call, you can hear the duck call a little bit better. 
you do still have stuff in your ears, these earbuds, and so you do get some of that echo that you would have if you had standard ear plugs in your, in your ears as you're calling, uh, which kind of makes the sound of your call a little bit different. I was really struggling that, with that before. So this does improve that, but you still get some of that. Um, now, in terms of actually having ear protection um, and, and protecting yourself from the shotgun blast, they're fantastic. A lot of people don't use them during duck hunting to be able to listen for ducks and be able to call and everything else. And so I think this is, uh, this is great for that. Now one slight problem with these that I think I mentioned in the previous video is they do pick up a bit of wind noise. Now I was able to resolve that pretty simply during duck hunting especially by wearing a beanie and I would just cover the beanie and I would just pull the beanie down over my ears a bit covering up the microphones on the Bluetooth earbuds and that muffled the wind sound and it didn't affect too much the, the noise that I was able, the ambient noises that I was trying to pick up. For those of you that are looking to use these to deer hunt or something similar with a rifle, um, they're also great for that too. So you can tune them up and you can hear a lot of the ambient sounds, pick up noises, um, deer or other animals walking through the brush, and in, depending on the situation, if it's not too windy, you can really crank them up and get kind of superhuman hearing, if you will. Um, and again, they will shut off the report from the rifle. So the noise reduction rating for the earbuds is 25 compared to a conventional set of earplugs, which is 32, and that's the amount of decibels that they reduce when they're properly inserted in your ear. So a little bit less with the earbuds, and that's something that you really need to take into consideration depending on what kind of shooting you're doing. Now, there are some different articles, and I'll link to some in the description that suggest and give um, recommendations on what you need. It's really dependent on the level of noise and also the duration. So you really need to take that into consideration depending on what your situation is. 25, I think, is kind of the minimum. Um, that's recommended for shooting and, and other loud activities but um, again depending on what you're doing you, you may need more which these wouldn't do and hey guys look hearing protection is super critical take it for someone that already suffers a bit from tinnitus you want to wear you really need to wear hearing protection with any shooting I know a lot of you hunters out there uh, a lot of my friends included don't wear your protection when they're deer hunting or duck hunting or whatever it is because they want to be able to hear those ambient sounds Look, this is a great option. You can still get those ambient sounds and you're getting hearing protection from it. Don't let your hearing go to waste needlessly. Make sure you protect your ears. So a bit more about that regarding noise reduction. So it's very important that you pick the right size tip for the foam piece to fit your ears. These are less forgiving just because of what it is than a standard earplug. So you really need to pick, there's three sizes that come with it. You really need to experiment and pick the one that's gonna provide the best seal in your ear canal. Otherwise, they're not going to be as effective in reducing the sound and it's important in trying to protect your hearing. So what I found early on is that I was going a little too small with these and I would get a little bit of, of seepage or leak by, I guess, of the sound and sometimes it was the report was a little bit louder than, than I thought it should be. I played with those and, and um, ended up going with the larger size. Uh, another thing is just being really diligent about how you fit these into your ear, really compressing the tip of this and, uh, and putting it deep into your ear, ear canal and making sure it's fit properly and sealing to be able to block out those sounds. So a few more things that could be improved on these or potentially could be of importance to you, I just, so I just want to mention them. Um, as I talked about in the previous video, you have to be really careful not to drop these to, or lose them. There's no lanyard or anything to save you from having a butterfinger moment and dropping these in the muck or in the water. Uh, once during a duck hunt, I was removing a shoulder strap decoy bag and as the strap brushed my ear, it actually knocked this out and, and it fell on the ground. Luckily, I was able to recover it, but if I was over the water, uh, it would have been SOL. Of course, not having a lanyard keeps them from tangling up on things and then potentially getting them pulled out because the lanyard was hung up on something. So like a shoulder strap of a gun or a duck, duck call lanyard, etc. So it's a bit of a trade-off. And I guess personally, between the two, I prefer not having the lanyard um, on these that would get tangled up. Um, so I just have to be extra careful about not dropping these. And now, I don't put these on until after I've put out the decoys and I'm situated in the duck blind, and I take them off when I go to pull to pick up the decoys. As I mentioned earlier, one of the things that could be improved on these is the software a bit. Uh, it does sometimes get really frustrating trying to get them to connect properly and then getting the app to connect and being able to make those changes, etc. You don't have to be connected to the app in order to have the functionality of the earbuds in terms of them shutting off the sounds. So that's good to know. But just be prepared if you do get these, the Bluetooth version that's connecting to your phone and trying to control it with the app. Um, uh, maybe with the Android phones it's a little bit better or maybe different versions of the iPhone. 
I'm not really sure. I'm using an iPhone 8s and I have the latest Walker app. And so hopefully that'll improve with time as Walker comes out with new versions of the app and has to keep up with the updates to the uh, OS systems. So if you guys are interested in this, um, I do want to point out one thing is that Walker's has made this a bit confusing in putting out two very similar versions of these earbuds. There's one that's Bluetooth and one that is not. They come in a similar case and they look almost identical. So you really want to pay attention to which one you're ordering if you look these up online. Um, to try to help with that, I've put a link in the description to Amazon where you can find the Bluetooth version. Um, obviously, if you click on my Amazon link in the description, you'll also be helping to support this channel, which I'd greatly appreciate. Um, if you are interested, again, in the Bluetooth version, um, what you need to look for is this particular model number. It's GWPSLCR-BT, and this should be in text here, uh, again, or you can just follow the link down in the description. So that's my full review after several months. Um, they definitely have a place in my pack. I'm going to continue using them for hunting and for clay shooting. Um, and I think it's a pretty good product, so a little bit buggy with some of the software things, and we'll see longevity on the second pair, but at least Walker's customer service was great on the first set. So um, I hope that helps inform your decision. Until next time, thanks for watching.